Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Redox here. Welcome back to another Rise of Civilizations video. And today I'm gonna to be talking about resources and how to obtain resources the quickest way possible. Okay, this is my tips and tricks for you guys. Um, let's talk about the resource buildings first. Now, in certain games, resource buildings like farms, lumber mill, um, you know, these kind of buildings, right? They Some games will allow you to generate more resources per second or per hour on these buildings, okay? But in this game, these resource buildings actually, in my opinion, don't generate enough resources for it to be very effective. I don't think it's the quickest way you can harvest or generate resources, okay? Unless you're using a lot of boosts and you've maxed out your buildings to a certain level. But especially early to mid game, even right now when I'm sitting at Town Hall 16, I know my farms are not there, not at level 16, but this one right here, my farm's at level 13, okay? It can hold up to 20,000 food and it creates, it, uh, it makes 1,850 food without any of the green bonuses, okay? It makes 1,850 per hour. So in about 10 hours, I will get 10,000 10, food. Now, assuming that it's level 16, it will make 32,000 food every 10 hours, okay? And I have, and you get four farms, okay, at max. You might get more farms later on, but right now, um, I can only have up to four farms, I believe. Yeah, that's right, I'm already at max. So with four, four farm buildings, that means right now, I can get 80,000 food every 10 hours. That's ridiculously slow. Even with other buildings like Stone Quarry, I'm still gonna be making, yeah, at level 11, 10,000, right? But uh, one of them's at level 16. Yeah, this one's at level 16, 24,000. So if I max out each of the quarry four times 24 is going to be like, um, it's gonna be almost 100K stone, okay? So I'll, I'll get about 100,000 stone every 10 hours. Same thing with the gold mines, for example. This one's at level 13, it's pretty much, it's up there. So it's the same thing, gold mines, they're all about the same at, you know, level 13 to 16. You might get 80,000 to 100,000 resources of that of that type every 10 hours. And that's really slow, especially when all your buildings cost a lot of resources to upgrade. Like if you see this town, city hall level 16 to level 17, look at that. It's 3.2 million food, wood, and 1.4 million stone to upgrade. And in this time, your opponents or other enemy cities may attack you as well. And they may loot your um, resources in your city. So it's hard to sit on, uh, uh, it's hard to sit with a lot of resources. Like I have a lot of resources right now, but that's be the reason why I'm, I'm, I'm sitting with a lot of resources right now is because I've accumulated all these resources in a very short time, okay? By um, saving up, okay? By saving, I'll show you my items. By saving up these items like resource packs, foods, and wood, okay? You get a lot of these, especially during the barbarian event. You'll get these as, from chests. You'll get these resource supplies that if you just press use, you'll get it instantly, okay? So you wanna, my other tip is if you want resources quickly, get a lot of these resource items, okay? Um, don't buy it from the stores. Or yeah, don't do not buy buy them from the career shop or or the shop. Get these items from events, especially the barbarian kill event, or get it from quests, you know, daily quests and whatnot. Try to save a lot of those because the higher level your town hall goes to, everything gets more expensive, researches and everything like that. It'll get very very expensive. For example, tier three units, okay. I'll show you how much they'll cost. Like the the only one I haven't upgraded is the mango nail, okay? It costs 1.5 million food, wood, and 1.1 million stone, and 1.5 million gold to upgrade one of these. Yes, you'll need a lot of gold, especially from this tier three and on. You'll need a lot of gold to um, upgrade any of these technologies. So keep that in mind. You don't need gold early on, but you will start you'll need it from like level 14 to 15. You'll need to save up. So when you hit level 16, you can actually upgrade to tier three units. I'm training them right now, as you can see. And of course, you wanna upgrade your military units as much as possible. 
And um, I'm right now I'm trying to upgrade the wall. Look at how expensive everything is. 1 million food, 1.2 million wood, 1.9 million stone. Everything requires a lot of stone as well, okay? So keep that in mind. Later on in game, stone and gold will become very important. Even more important than food and wood, okay? Stone, especially stone. I think stone is by far the most important resource in this game. You'll always want to try to get a lot of stone as possible. So anyways, the quickest way honestly to get resources in a short amount of time is just by doing this okay is by harvesting or mining for stone i've got frederick right now mining for 189,000 stone and it doesn't cost any action points when you gather stone or any resources so don't waste too much time on upgrading my point right now is to not upgrade too much time on what is it Upgrading these resource buildings unless you have to the only reason I've upgraded to level 13 Stone quarry is always going to be at the max level 16 same as the town hall because you need stone quarry uh, You need at least one of them to be at level 16 17 whatever to upgrade your town hall But like for example my lumber mill I've only upgraded when I have the time there it's sitting at level 8 12 Like I don't even care about food and wood none of these don't even bother upgrading these buildings unless you have free resources and you got free builders to do it if, if not, just upgrade one of your stone quarries. Even the gold mines, the only reason I brought this one to level 13. See, these other ones are level, sitting at level 5. The only reason I brought this one to level 13 is because I had to. Okay, I think it was Town Hall level 13 to 14 or something like that. You have to upgrade a gold mine to level 13. But the only building I will ever upgrade like on to the max will be one store stone quarry. The other resource buildings will just sit at whatever level they are. I mean, getting, like, even at level 16, getting only about, at level 16 town, town hall, getting 100,000 stone, gold, wood, or food every 10 hours is just not enough, guys. So, honestly, the best way to get resources in this game, don't waste your time upgrading those resource buildings unless you have to, absolutely have to. Just gather resources on the map, just like what I'm doing. So, I've already got two units gathering for stone right now. Stone is very important, so you constantly, especially stone, yeah, you will need to gather a lot of stone in this game. Especially the higher age you go, you require more and more stone, it never stops. And then you'll also need a lot of gold for academy upgrades. Gold is important for academy upgrades, okay? And then food and wood, they're always needed for everything. So of course you'll need food and wood as well, but they, uh, yeah, gold you'll need to start gathering a lot of those, especially when you're trying to upgrade these tier three units. They cost 1.5 million gold each. That's a lot of gold. And gold is not that easy to get in this game. And stone, you'll need it for everything as well, just like wood and food. But um, that's kind of really my tips and tricks and it's my guide for resources for you guys. For any of you that are wanting to know how to get resources as quick as possible is not by upgrading these buildings, okay? It's not by upgrading any of these resource buildings, it's by participating in barbarian kill events or any events that will give you um, any events that will give you a lot of these packs, like 150,000 wood. If I use one of them, I'll get 150,000 food immediately. Or if I use one of this, I'll get 500,000 food immediately. Um, try to get as much of these resource packs as you can and also harvest as much as you can because um, I, I think it takes like 30, I don't even know if it takes like one hour. Like if I use Joan of Arc example, for example, Joan of Arc has um, a gathering ability that makes her gather faster. So I think it takes like 20 to 30 minutes to gather one of a level four stone deposit, for example. And look, I'm getting 189,000 food in 30 minutes to maybe an hour. I don't think it takes like an hour, but yeah, like maybe an hour, 30 minutes to an hour and I get 200,000 stone. That's so much quicker than waiting for 10 hours and maybe getting 100,000, maybe getting about 100,000 food at level 16 town hall. So don't even bother upgrading those uh, resource buildings. Just go straight into gathering as much as you can and save up these items as well. Okay, that's it for my resource tips and tricks and guides. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you uh, comment and like, and I'll see you guys next time.